Brian Danielson has done it. He is now the AEW World Champion. We're going to talk about it in today's breaking news video right here on The Angle Show. Right, guys i want to talk about this because it is in fact true brian danielson put up his career on the line but he did in fact defeat swerve strickland at aew all in in wembley stadium 2025 and i want to give you guys my quick thoughts for a variety of reasons obviously you know that i'm a huge fan of brian danielson but we're also not stupid we do know that his career is not going to be full time for the next 10 years like we know this guy's career is winding down which is why it is absolutely insane talking about this match because this was a fantastic match between Swerve and Brian. Um, and really, you just got to give props where it's due. If you guys didn't watch AEW All In, it was a great pay-per-view. I think there was some weird booking decisions. I think there was some things that they could have done a little bit differently or a little bit better. Um but I think they did a really good job of making this pay-per-view feel like a big deal. And I think a lot of that stems from presentation i think a lot of that stems from the way that they visualized uh and, and made some of their stars just appear larger than life and i think a lot of credit needs to be given to the crowd as well i think one of the big things that's actually really interesting here though is looking at this main event and, and obviously it's subjective but i think when you look at aew main events i think this did exactly what it was supposed to do which was ultimately make brian danielson uh literally just like the greatest wrestler of all time like i think it just cements him as the greatest and um you know swerve has to be given credit to if you guys don't like swerve or if you didn't like his title run I, I don't know what else to say i think he very well portrayed a great heel a great villain in this match and, and then of course brian obviously being the baby face celebrating with uh bcc celebrating with his family brie garcia was also in attendance so obviously you got to factor that in um but brian danielson finally gets the AEW world championship and that's really what it comes down to like this it's a great booking decision it's the right decision to make and it's one of those things where i think aew yes we could talk about lower ratings or lower attendance but right now i feel like there are more positive decisions being made than negative decisions and one of the big things was like okay well what happens to brian does he vacate the belt does he you know we'll see but this guy is a phenomenal worker, a phenomenal character. It was inevitable. Like, at what point does he win the belt? And I think that's why this is super exciting to see that, like, it finally happened. AEW, on the other hand, I feel like they did enough to create some suspense or create some intrigue for the following week. Again, there were some decisions that I don't agree with for tonight's show, but uh, Brian Danielson being world champion, I would hope that this could possibly potentially lead to more ticket sales or higher viewership. Obviously, we'll find out, um, but that's my reaction. This is good for business. Huge fan of Brian, huge fan of Swerve, credit being given where credit due. Uh, and then, of course, shout out to Hangman Page because I think he also added a little bit of uh, a nice little dynamic to it because it sounds like AEW will be revisiting that and uh, it should be very interesting. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below.